National Cheeseburger Day. It is coming up tomorrow. We know burgers are an American classic. A lot of ways to make your burger. Lifestyle expert Amy Sewell is here. You're back with some great ideas on how to really kind of class it up. Absolutely. It's great to be back. Thank you for having me. You know, cheeseburgers, you know, like I said, great American classic. Mm -hmm. And pairing wines with them doesn't have to be complicated. It's really all about matching the weight of the wine to the weight of the food. You want heavier wines with heavier food and lighter wines with lighter food. So I worked with several companies to put together some ideas here. We have six burgers we found at Omaha Steaks here, and we're going to pair them each up with okay. a wine for you. First of all, with these beef sliders with some aged cheddar cheese on them, you want a fuller bodied wine for that. Um, we have a nice Pinot Noir here from the calling. It's really nice, has a little bit of acidity in it, which really helps cut through the richness of that beef and cheese. Similarly, you want a heavier wine to go with this filet mignon burger. Wow. Now we have this cooked up here with some caramelized onions and blue mm -hmm. cheese. And this Cabernet Sauvignon from Josh Sellers is really nice for that. It has some blackberry and plum flavors in it that really balance out that hearty, savory taste of the filet mignon. On the sliders, uh, what did you put on the sliders? It looks like a pretzel bun. Uh, that along here, along with some cheddar cheese and you know some greens and of course some nice Roma tomatoes. Lettuce, on tomatoes. There. Exactly. Kind of what you typically expect on yeah, a burger. Yeah, and you, and you can style them up however you want to. You, know, you can go pretty basic or you can be very elegant with them if you would like to. Well, next, moving on down, we're going to lighten things up a little bit with a lamb burger. And we did mm. this here with some feta cheese and a little bit of a Greek salad on it. A nice pairing for that is this Barone Fini Pinot Grigio. You know, Pinot Grigio, it's kind of a little black dress of wine. You know, it goes with everything. It's a medium bodied wine that goes nicely with things with robust flavors like the lamb, but it also works with some lighter foods as well. So, really nice wine just to have in your kitchen. Um, now, the cheeses that you're pairing with the burgers, is there certain rules that a certain kind of cheese goes with the lamb as opposed to the sirloin or the beef? Well, you know, you really just kind of try, try things and see. What you like. Of course, we did the feta cheese with the Greek lamb burger. You know, just mm -hmm. nice Olives for that. On there. So yeah, and then, like and I love caramelized onions and blue cheese, whether it's with a burger or a lot of other sandwiches as well. So, again, just, you know, look at things and pick things to suit your taste when it comes to the cheese and the burgers. Next, who doesn't love a pork and bacon cheeseburger? Uh, yeah, you can't go wrong with that. With a really nice bun here as well. And with that, a great pairing for that is going to be sparkling wine. Because what you have, you have just a little bit of acidity and sweetness in that bacon sparkling wine. Bacon and champagne. It goes wonderfully mm, together. Decadent. It really works nice with the smoky flavors of the bacon. This is a yellowtail bubbles that we have here. Sparkling wine also goes great with the chips or the French fries that you have along with those burgers. If you've never had sparkling wine with a good salty potato chip, mm. try that. It is such a wonderful flavor combination. So now you this, mentioned this was a bacon burger. Is, yes. I don't see any bacon. Is the bacon mixed into it's, the it's burger? It's mixed into the. These are Omaha Steaks burgers, and this has pork and bacon in it. Each burger, you know, on the outside it doesn't look very different, but when you bite into them, it, they're all completely different taste. Okay. So, well, next, on. sprouts on a burger. What's going on here? <laughs> well, next show, you probably have a lot of Sauvignon Blanc on your Thanksgiving table because it goes really well with turkey. It also goes great with turkey burgers. That's what we have here. We have this styled up here. We have some, some really nice greens on here. We also have some nice creamy Havarti cheese mm. on here, which goes really nice with that little mango chutney as well. The, the citrus flavors in this crossing Sauvignon Blanc really work nicely with that. Bring out the fruit of the chutney and match really nicely with the buttery taste of that cheese. All right, vegetarians, we haven't forgotten about you. Absolutely, <laughs> veggie burgers, very popular. And we're kind of at the lighter end of the table now. You want a lighter wine with a lighter burger. And this Episangria is only about 8.5% alcohol, so that's going to be a really nice match for that. If you have a really heavy Cabernet or something with mm -hmm. that, it's going to overwhelm the taste of the veggie burger. The other thing I love about this Episangria, this is made from organic grapes. And Fruit juices. So, if you like to eat and drink organic, that's it's also a great wine. option. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these are just some general guidelines to follow. You know, fuller body wines are generally going to be like 13.5% alcohol and higher, and you know, medium bodied wines about 12 to 13.5%. So, just check the label, that's going to be a good guideline. But even with that, there's really just no substitute for getting all of these and trying them yourself and then drinking what you like. All right. Amy, thank you so thank much. You. All right. For more tips on burgers and the wine pairings, wines that go with them, from Amy Sewell, just go to our website. It is kcalline.com. You can click Scene on TV again.